Got a post exam question on radical substitution mechanism. It's quite a good one, this one, because it's a bit different to the norm. So here's the question. So if you want to pause the video, have a go at that, and then play on when you're ready for the answer. So the first thing, the essential condition, obviously ultraviolet light or UV. And the next thing is we've got to come up with the mechanism for the reaction that produces iodomethane and hydrogen bromide. So the equation, although that's not asked for, it's useful to write that equation down because that's what we've got to do the mechanism for. And you'll notice that the reason I said this was a bit different to the norm is because normally they would ask about a regular halogen, so it would be I2 or Br2 or Cl2, whereas this is a mixed halogen, so we've got I covalently bonded to Br. Okay, so the first thing, the name of the mechanism, obviously, radical substitution, so that ticks that one off. The names of the other two steps of the mechanism, so the first one is the initiation step. We were told about the termination step, and I'm putting in here the, the relevant equations next to each name step. So the IBR molecule is broken by the UV, and you create two radicals or free radicals, an I radical and a Br radical, and I'm covering that bullet point there. The type of bond fission is homolytic fission. So the other step's propagation, and these occur in a pair of steps. So the first one would need to look like this, and that's because we've got to produce hydrogen bromide. So of these two radicals, it's the bromine radical that's going to attack the methane. I'm going to take one of the hydrogens and the electron and form HBr. And that's going to leave over a methyl radical, which then feeds into the second propagation step. So that's where it reacts with the halogen molecule. So in this case, it's IBr. So that methyl radical is going to take the I and its electron and form the other product, CH3I, iodomethane. And that will obviously leave over a bromine radical. So the final thing we've got to do is just come up with one termination equation. So I've put them all in, so one of these would be fine. So you could have two methyl radicals forming ethane, the two halogen radicals forming IBr, a methyl radical and an I radical to form CH3I, or a methyl radical and a Br radical forming CH3Br. And then the final two, two I radicals to form I2, two Br radicals to form Br2.